Hi, my name is Glenn Tufnell. I'm a Managing Director of Dieback Treatment Services and also a member of the Dieback Working Group. Phytophthora dieback is a water mould, it's a root rot, so it basically ring barks the individual plant, causes fairly rapid death. The term dieback is symptomatic and it's simply an explanation of the process of the dying back, whereas Phytophthora dieback is the result of an introduced pathogen, mainly Phytophthora cinnamomi. Phytophthora can be spread through a landscape through the movement of water. The greatest spread is actually caused by man and soil moving operations that aren't managed in a hygienic fashion. Once Phytophthora is in a landscape, we can use a product called Phosphite. It's one of those wonderful chemicals where you don't get much off-target impact. It activates the plant's defence systems by changing the chemicals that are released through the growing tips of the roots and also thickening the cell structures of the plants it works better if you can get the phosphite into the plant as a systemic fungicide prior to the plant coming into contact with Phytophthora. Phosphite can be delivered through stem injection or through foliar spray. It will last for anywhere between two years and five to seven years, but we recommend a three-year treatment cycle. Stem injection would be treating things like obviously the jarrah trees, but all Banksia species, Pisunias, woody pears as well as uh, she-oaks. Tree size can go anything from 100 millimetres in diameter up to the largest jarrah that you can find. When we treat an area for Phytophthora, the first thing we need to do is identify what we're going to treat. We're going to be stem injecting, so we're going to use Hemjet tree injectors, a cordless drill, phosphite diluted at appropriate levels with water, and a 4.5 mil high speed metal bit. We will also be protecting our eyes with glasses, gloves, long sleeves and long trousers, boots of course, and a hat's a good idea to protect yourself from the sun. When you're loading the syringes, it's important to make sure the tip stays below the surface of the mixed solution, so you don't take in any air. Each injector will hold a 20 mil quantity of phosphite, and it's important to make sure that, that full 20 mil gets delivered every 200 mil around the base of the tree. The holes should be drilled on a slight downward angle, based every 200 mil around the circumference of the tree, roughly an adult hand span. You don't want to burn the inside of the hole, so you want to use a sharp, clean drill bit. Drill in and uh, pull it out a few times to make sure you clear the hole. Some jarrah trees and some exceptionally large bank shears make it quite hard to actually get through the bark and the cambium into the xylem and the phloem that we inject into and that may necessitate just flicking some of the bark off or choosing the valleys in the bark to inject into. And if that means that your injection gap has to be smaller or slightly larger, that's quite acceptable. Then you place your loaded syringe and using your body weight, just push it straight in. Try not to twist, try not to mess around with the hole too much or you could break the seal and leaking will result. Hold the body of the injector and then twist the shaft to release. Once the injector is inserted into the tree and released, different plants will react differently to the phosphite. Some will take it up very quickly, others can take quite a long time. Anywhere between five minutes and an hour and a half. The process is directly linked to transpiration. So the more a tree is transpiring, the quicker the uptake of the chemical. That is dictated by weather conditions. So it's better to inject in a nice, clear, sunny day with a light breeze rather than injecting on an overcast, cold day. When you can see that the seal inside the plunger of the injector has reached the bottom, it's time to pull them out. Just walk around with your bucket and pull them straight out. You may have to give them a slight twist if they're well seated. At the end of your treatment day, it's a good idea to flush the injectors out with warm soapy water and occasionally you will need to lubricate the seals with food grade silicon. This video was supported by the Shire of Kalamunda, the Dieback Working Group and Dieback Treatment Services. To find out more about Phytophthora treatment and how to get involved, visit the Dieback Working Group website at www.dwg.org.au.